years, these neighbors have been watching the city's homeless crisis spread across parts of southeast Portland. Now it's right outside their front door. I want to cry. I just want my house back. Christina Hartnett lives on 80th and Powell, where a majority of the campers stay. My lawn is now becoming a public bathroom. She fears leaving her house just to go to work. And it is scary when you have grown men meth raging in your driveway. The last thing I feel safe doing is going out and saying, hey, can I can you please move so I can go to work? Calling the police and city is an everyday chore with little reward. So far, no one has come to help us. Central City Concerned Clean Start crews assessed this site Thursday. It was one of about 1,900 other campsites reported just this week. In the past 10 days, they found 272 encampments that pose a greater health and safety risk, which is why they haven't removed the camps in this neighborhood. But just getting the city to come out and assess it has been a full-time job. I have to report from like four different four different bureaus, and then I have to report that report to a report, and then I have to report that report to a second report, and it's the only way to get any kind of traction